Hey everyone, welcome to this ActionScript 3 tutorial. In this one we're going to be looking at expanding banners, which are banners which expand over the content of a HTML page. Uh, some people like them, some people don't. Uh, lots of big companies are starting to use them and in a much more impressive way than I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you the basics now, but some of them will have a whole web page suddenly turn into a full screen animation and there's been some fantastic ones done recently. So if they're used correctly, uh, they can be fantastic. Um, this one here will just give you a bit more space in case you wanted to make your drop down menu perhaps into a little micro site maybe about a film or something uh, to enhance the user experience um, it's also going to use uh, some simple javascript and html as well uh, just to integrate with it um, let's have a look at the uh, finished product so it's really basic just a not expanded banner this is your normal html content so you can have your web page here and you just roll over and roll out again uh, so this is an expanding box here um, and basically if I just quickly explain what's going on here the flash, the flash document is actually the full size of this banner so we're just going to create almost like you would in ActionScript 2 as well or, or similar versions just a simple drop down menu um, and when you roll back it just eases up really really easily as well so um, one of the important things about this animation here is to have a fairly decent uh, frame per second so it looks kind of smooth um, normally if I was doing some sort of expanding banner I would uh, use um, a hit test so if it hits it it would roll down and as soon as you roll off it would go back up this one doesn't do that uh, because it's got to fire off uh, some Java code and if it does that when it is starting to expand it will keep firing the Java code so I'll show you how to just use the Java code easily in this anyway let's have a look and find out what I'm actually talking about here so I'm going to start up uh, flash and action script 3 okay so here we have our stage and the size of the stage we're going to use um, I think we'll go for something around about uh, 600 by 300 so if I go into here uh, 600 pixels by 300 pixels and we'll just ok that and we're going to use roughly about half this, I mean we don't have to be too accurate with this but um, you know, if you're doing it properly, it would have to be more accurate. But we're going to use around about half of it, and then it'll expand to double the length. So about 150 and one, uh, 300 will be our widths in this. And all I'm going to do, so we can see it expand over the top here, is I'm just going to put in a background colour. Uh, because we're going to use something called um, the transparentless window uh, mode, which means that you can't see the background, um, we're going to put one in. Um, because it's going to expand over something we don't want to see the backgrounds um, so we're just going to put this in and the next step is well we're going to start making our um, drop down so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call this the background and I'm going to lock that so we can't really move it around if you want to be a bit more accurate as well actually you could just select it and if we go to window and bring up the align panel here I can align the size of the document um, to the stage, sorry I haven't got that collected so just you can hardly see any movement there but it's just moving it just to the centre, centre and matching the same size of the stage and let's close that down, you can also go to the hit here actually, you don't have to get it from the top there um, right, so let's lock that and let's make our drop down now so this is going to involve making a mask making the objects that we want to be revealed basically, so this would be your banner or whatever and also we're going to put a hot spot on the top as well because um, one of the problems, if we have a mask, which we can, you know, create a hit spot, which um, when you roll over, it will just drop down. But in, if it's in a HTML document and you roll out, it won't detect the rollout. It'll only detect the roll in. So we need a little object inside of the document with just a bit of a gap around the edge. So when we roll out, the flash file will detect that there is actually a rollout. So from here, let's create our content first. Okay, there's our content, and uh, let's have it like this one. Okay, so there's our uh, not expanded, and I'm just going to choose a green now. Oh, why is that? Sorry. Let me select the font first, and then just type into here. 
expanded and let me choose that as the color green. Select it, color green. Right, so that's our content, done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a mask that rolls down and rolls back again. And we're going to create this mask inside a movie clip. Now generally when I create a mask, I create a content, um, a mask color, sorry, that is a different color from one that I'd usually use. Um, I'd usually actually use this green color because I don't normally find it in any of the sites that I make or anything because it's pretty disgusting really. Um, but what we're going to do here is I'm just going to call this layer mask and let's use something like a blue here. And let's just draw it that way. And to make sure the mask fits, this time I'm going to use this tool, make it centered. Oh. Click on the content, center, center, actually align to top would be better, and match the width, and I'm just going to make it just about half this size, it doesn't matter too much here. So there we go, that's about halfway. But if you want to be more accurate with it, we could just click on it and you could just make the height here 150, should you wish. So there we go, that's half the banner. And what we're going to do now is go to, um, oh sorry, we're going to convert it to a symbol. And from here I'm going to call this, um, let's call it Reveal. This name doesn't matter to any of the code that you'll actually be using. Okay. And let's go inside of this. Right. So what we need to do here is just create a simple roll down. I'm going to make it about 15 frames there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the classic tween. I'm a big fan of the classic tween. I still think it's a very good tween. It's sometimes easier for jobs like this than the new uh, tweens that you get. And if I just hold down alt and drag down. There we go. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that frame there and paste it here and just right click on that and create a classic tween and there we go and to make this, um, let's have a look at that a sec so it kind of doesn't feel very natural at the moment so what I'm going to do is in between these tweens here if I just left click and I go to ease and I'll make it 100 out and let's have it 100 in. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. That's got some uh, speed to it there. Looks a bit more natural. And with inside here, um, I said normally I'd use a hit test, which would just actually, I would only actually have the banner come down and I'd tell the file to play the movie clip forwards and then go to previous flames if you're not touching it. But with this way we're doing this, we can't do that. So what I'm going to do here is. I'm going to insert a keyframe on frame 2 and this time we're going to call this um, let's call this down uh, right so frame label so I've clicked in the frame, go to frame label there down and there you can see the frame label and I want to do it on the same here, insert a keyframe I'm going to call this up and there we go, we've got down and up. And we're going to target those frames later from the main timeline. The other thing we obviously need to do here is if I, well, if you press F9, I've now learnt that I can't press F9 when I'm recording here. So if I bring up my actions panel and type stop, open bracket, close bracket, into the first frame. And actually if I insert a keyframe here and bring up the actions, stop. Then if we look at the timeline, what's going to happen is as, the flash, as it starts up the flash file, it's going to be stopped here. We will then roll over a hit spot in a second, which will take us to the down and play.